Let's recap on the emergency procedures your instructor has shown you. For the SOS system, the key words are legs, look, reach, punch, arch, clear. You may need to use these emergency procedures in the event of a low speed or high speed malfunction, so you need to learn them thoroughly. The emergency procedures for the SOS system are legs, look, reach, punch, arch, and clear. Every skydiver doubts themselves a little bit until they have the very first malfunction. And my first one was at six, oh, sorry, 723 jumps. And all the way up till then, I'd been practicing my emergency procedures on the plane, practicing them on the ground, but I was never 100% sure how I would deal with them until, until that time came. And, and then when the time did come, it, like I said, it was, it was just all automatic. On the key word is legs, the legs come together and back underneath the body. This forces the hips forward so that when we do pull our yellow cutaway handle, uh, we fall in a belly to earth attitude. The belly to earth attitude is the best possible position because all we are now is a platform for our reserve parachute to come from. It's, it's better to use the time that you have looking and locating rather than chewing up valuable time fumbling for it. On the keyword reach, the right hand reaches across the front of the chest, the right thumb going through the yellow handle, at the same time the left hand is placed on top and we make a firm grasp of the yellow handle. The technique for the punch is to pull the hands down at full arm's extent. This ensures the cables come all the way out and then we go transition out into a nice hard arch. And the last part of the procedure is to clear the cables. We do this by looking down at the housing and using our left hand in a sweeping motion, we clear any cables if required.